what's going on people hope y'all having a great day um, on the agenda today we are heading down to the Menominee River uh, looking for some some walleyes so I've had some decent reports guys are down there catching them and catching quite a few right now you can keep one fish until the uh, opening day you can keep one fish so hoping to go down there and catch one go up I'm hoping to catch a few so that way you'll have something to watch in this video otherwise it'd be kind of dumb but hoping to catch at least one to take home to cook up for dinner tonight but hopefully we can get a few more um, now's a good time too especially early season it is like April 10th or 11th or something I don't even know it's a uh, a good time right now to catch some real big fish especially walleyes coming up river like this so now is kind of the time if you're looking for a mounter fish early season like this in the in the upper peninsula is uh it's a good time so we are uh, driving down there right now as you can probably tell not looking at the camera too much so i don't crash so we're heading down there right now hopefully we can get a spot there's probably going to be a buttload of people there but hopefully we can get a, a decent spot and start getting on some fish. So we will uh, see if you. Oh, God damn it. So all we're doing is uh, taking a little jig, a little twister tail on it, kind of just bouncing it off the bottom. I just lost one there. Um, yeah, this is basically the rig here. You can see that. Just taking it and bouncing it off the bottom. Let's see if we can get another one. There's one. What in the hell is that? It's a sucker. Oh. Snagged him. There's something. Frickin' sucker.
at the wall, eh? Sucker. Oh, come on. You are not what I want. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Alright, I don't know what the hell this is, but it's a decent it's a decent fish here. It's probably a freaking sucker. Oh god, I hope it's a walleye. I hope it's a walleye. Fingers crossed. Y'all give me some give me some good luck here. Hopefully it's a walleye. It's kind of fighting like a walleye. It's not really doing a whole lot. <clears throat> Get out of the trees. Come on. Nope. It's a sucker. a pretty freaking big soccer though. <clears throat> oh, soccer number three for the day. Snagged. Big old freaking soccer. Fighting weird, probably another fell hook sucker. <clears throat> yep. Does he want to reel him in? You want to reel him in? Hey, buddy. Yeah. Give her a shot there. It's probably just a sucker, but it's a fish anyway, hey? Yeah. There you go. It's a nice little sucker, though. All right. I'll slip that rod right up. Yes, they are. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. He was looking at it, hooked him right in the eyeball. <laughs> not good when the suckers are in, is it? No, not really. What do you think? Ugly, eh? A picture yeah. of that? No. No? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. What's going on, everybody? Well, the Menominee River kind of sucked. Got a bunch of suckers, but no walleye. So we're heading back home now, but on the way home, I'm gonna try another little spot here uh, on the 
Ford River, see if there's any uh, smallmouth in there yet. Usually there's quite a few and that's where I do most of my smallmouth fishing uh, in the spring, summer, fall. So hopefully there's something in there. But I did get a chance to meet a guy down at the river, uh, Menominee River today. Um, cool guy. I got to talk to him for a little bit. He uh, suffered a traumatic brain injury um, and he's still uh, still out doing what he loves to do. Still out fishing and stuff like that. It's actually the guy that uh, in the last uh, little clip there you seen reeling in that sucker. So um, be sure to check out his page. He has a lot to talk about with it and how he copes with it and everything. And uh, I'll leave a link down below in the description there for his Facebook page or his website and uh, definitely feel free to check it out. Uh, it's interesting. You know, I can't imagine what life would be like suffering with something like that, you know, trying to go just do your everyday stuff. So uh, I can't even imagine. It must be, must be difficult. So make sure to uh, check out his page and we'll link it again down in the description. So, but I'm on my way to the next spot here. Hopefully we can get something. Um, if not, then yeah, then we won't get anything. So, anyways, all right, I'll uh, probably catch you at the next spot. Bye bye. All right, nice to see you guys again. Well, the Ford River sucked. At least it sucked for me. I didn't catch any fish in there, but. <clears throat> Should be coming in there here pretty quick. So any any day now. We gotta let the water warm up and, and lower a little bit. It's kinda high right now, so but interesting topic. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback, opinions, concerns, questions, anything like that. Definitely drop down in the comment section. But uh here in Michigan we had the stay-at-home order extended till the end of the month. Now I'm an essential worker, so I'm, I'm still working. It's not affecting me too much, but it does affect my ability to fish. So fishing in its own is allowed, but any watercraft that is motorized, that has a motor on it, is prohibited. Now, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, considering, uh, kayaks are allowed and stuff like that so their reasoning behind that is your gas motor on your boat now you gotta go get gas go to the gas station get gas for it and all that stuff um, and that's kind of their their avenue that they're taking for not allowing it so we're not in contact with other people at the gas stations and stuff like that so I mean I, I I kind of get it, I guess, but kayaking is allowed. Kayaking, canoeing, that kind of stuff, that's allowed. Now, isn't it kind of the same thing to go get gas in my boat or throw the kayaks in my truck and go get gas in my truck to go to the lake, river, whatever, to kayak fish or just kayak in general? Isn't that kind of the same thing? I guess I, I'm confused on how that's totally gonna help. Um, so I'd love to hear your feedback. I know I'm kind of ranting now, but I know it's a serious situation. Don't get me wrong, I know it's crazy. I know it's a serious situation. We want everyone to stay healthy and, and all that, but it kind of, I don't know, it just seems a little goofy that uh, you can kayak, but you can't take your boat out. Anyways, I hope y'all are staying safe out there. This is kind of a troubling times here for the for the world. So, hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, washing your hands, uh, maintaining your social distance, six feet, and all that. So, um, stay safe out there, guys. But I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, definitely drop a comment below. Um, let me know what you think, your opinions. Uh, for it, against it, doesn't, doesn't bother me. Let me know what you think. Um, and make sure if you do like this video, I know it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, if you do like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, do all that stuff. So um, until the next time, 
Y'all stay safe. Stay healthy.